So I perform open heart surgery. Open heart surgery is done under full anesthesia and it is uh, in the form of either a bypass operation where you have arteries which take blood to the heart, they have blockages and we take arteries from the back of the bone here or some veins from the leg and we do bypass grafts. Bypass means actually we go beyond the block. So like if you're going to Manchester, you, bu you bypass Birmingham completely and take the M6. So we give you new roads to the heart. Then I also do valve surgery. Now valves are inside the heart. So heart valve surgery means open heart surgery, but it's inside the valve. Now when we cut the sternum in the middle here, that is done to access the heart. And again, if you have to stop the heart, we have to make sure that your body is looked after by something which, look, which performs the same function of the heart or lung. And that's where we use the heart lung machine. Now, how do we do this operation? Minimal access. So instead of approaching the heart from the front, you can approach the heart either from the left side or from the right side. Now when we do valve surgery, we approach the heart from the right side. But again, we have to somehow connect the heart to the heart lung machine. And instead of putting the pipes from the front of the heart, we put it from the groin. From the groin vessels which go up to the heart. Okay? So sometimes it's a misconception that just because we're doing it from the side here, it's not an open heart. Actually, it is an open heart, but it is not an open chest. It is a closed chest, but a minimal access surgery. Of course, now when we do, when I do minimal access bypass surgery, we don't need the heart lung machine. So we do it with a new technique called as beating heart surgery. So your heart is beating throughout the operation. 